Hi everybody, I'm Lee and this is Fix It For Reselling. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we just decided to pop out to a few charity shops down to the town and that to the local shops. And we found some amazing bargains. You don't always find some good stuff like this. I mean, it's going to be a pretty quick one. There's only a few little things here, but one of them I thought was amazing. I think someone in the charity shop has been looking up the wrong prices. But let's get into this and see what we've got. Um, first of all, just picked up a pair of Nike um, Lunalon trainers. Actually in very good condition. One of them's got a bit of muck on the toe there, but treads good. And yeah, in very good condition. Size 12. UK size 12. So yeah, they were £4 and uh, in the that condition, toes are good, heels are good. We were looking for a, probably, I'll put these up for 20 to 25 pound maybe. So that was the first good one I spotted. Next one in the charity shops, I just saw a PS3 Slim sitting on the shelf and the asking price was three pounds. Now there was no leads or anything with this. It was just that all the air vents are absolutely caked with dust so that's going to need a good old clean out first but whether it works or not don't know not really worried because it was only three pound um it can be for spares if not the seal always look at the seal on the bottom there because there is a screw under there so if that seal has been taken off it means they've taken it off to get to that screw and someone has probably had that in bits. What's the code on this one? It's the Chech 3003B. So I'm not even sure off the top of the head what model that is. Probably like um, probably the 80 gig model. Um, it's got a little foot missing, but I've got other PS3. I've got a test PS3 that I can I nick things off like feet like that just to get the game. But we'll test that. But you know, with the remote and stuff that I already have for that. You know, from three pound, if it's fully working, I'll put the other bits of it. And I don't know, probably about 50 or 60 quid, I think these can go for a couple of games as well. So that wasn't bad. Um, and we'll get back to the good charity shop at the end to uh, keep you watching, or yeah, you can fast forward to the end. Um, next, we popped into one of the, um, like a, a, a cash exchange shop, you know, where they take all your stuff in. Um, and in the window, they had a, a wee bundle that there i think it was just it was just like that um had one remote one nunchuck and obviously all the uh the power leads and av leads but i have got spare power leads and av leads anywhere uh, but that was like 15 pounds so or 14.99 um now i just got a, a ps uh, ps1 i just got a, a wee bundle from an auction and paid 50 pounds for it which i thought oh i've overpaid on that by the time you had commission that's probably 60 quid in total but i listed that last night just after 10 o'clock and just put it up for 100 quid wee bundle um so you got the wii two remotes all the cables um had wii sports had a wii fit balance board uh put the wii fit plus with it and then i had you know the accessories like the golf club tennis racket baseball <laughs> Um, and that went, that sold within probably 20 minutes to half an hour for 99.99 plus postage. So that's the reason I saw this in the shop today. I thought I'd get that. And then also they had another bundle underneath, which included the Wii Balance Board. Although it has got a rechargeable pack on there. But I've got another balance board, uh, the, the cover that I'll swap out and get rid of these chart rechargeable ones because most of the time they do not work. It stinks of smoke that one as well. So the cover can come off and it's disinfected. And it also came with all them games, nothing brilliant. The only thing, you know, it didn't come with the Wii Sports, which is the game I like to sell them with, but I do have a spare Wii Sports Resorts. Uh, it came with a couple of covers, and then it also came with another remote and nunchuck. 
um, had all the manuals and stuff with it. And where did I throw the other bits? And also, because I have the Wii Sports Resorts, it had two of the Motion Pluses with it. So if you if you if you're selling your uh, Wii with Wii Sports Resorts, Wii Sports Resorts won't work. Well, I don't think it'll work. Not when I've tested it. It won't work without the Motion Pluses. You need them. So at least I can spell it, sell it with Wii Sports Resorts. So again, uh, and this is a couple of little battery packs and the the charger. But I hate these things. They're sealed battery packs so it's not like you can replace the batteries in them with your own batteries and most of the time when I get these they're absolutely dead and won't charge anyway but yeah so that little lot was um, $19.99 so $19.99 plus the or call it 20 quid plus the 15 quid for the wheel it's 35 pounds and if like last night I list it and it sells within half an hour for not you know 100 pounds plus the postage that's going to be a quick flip from 35 into 100 minus your fees you're going to at least get 50 quid profit on that that's if it all works and now for the pick of the day right at the end of the video all right but before i show you that um please like this video please comment please subscribe like in the video helps the uh, helps my channel gets a video put out there a bit more and you know if you subscribe click the notification bell and you'll see when I upload other videos. I usually do videos on fixing stuff because we buy a lot of broken things. But yeah, just give us a like, please subscribe, and now for the good one. Saw so this sat on the floor under a load of stuff in a charity shop. On the top, there was Philips boom boxes, just like little ones, Technica boom boxes, you know, just your cheapy old makes, little tiny things, CD player tape, and they was asking like six pound fifty, six pounds for them, and then I saw this on the floor, which was all sealed up, so I couldn't look into it. But a Bose portable sound dock. Uh, yeah, so that was all sealed. But as soon as I got out of the shop, I did cut it open just to just to check, and I can't believe my eyes. But this still has inside all the sealed. Well, it's not sealed but it has all the jargon in there all the paperwork it's got the remote control you've got your power adapter so you've got all the original packaging got another little um, american adapter or european adapter and yeah so all the original packaging and then in the bottom is the bose speaker which looks in very good if not mink condition but I still need to test that oh that's nice mm. little push button oh see that oh it's beautiful oh <laughs> just want to do that again you know usually if you see bows just pick it up because it's going to be worth something so they had this up for five pounds and when I looked at solds, I can probably get um, this with the box, with the remote, all the original stuff. I'm going to push for probably 120 to 125 pounds on this. So that's going to be over a hundred pound profit after all your fees and everything else. So yeah, I'll put a screenshot up here of what I think the guy was looking at. So as you can see here from these listings, the first ones on the solds that come up are for a Bluetooth adapter that slots in there, which are like 15 to 17, 18 pounds. And because uh, they're showing this, I think in the charity shop, because we all know charity shops are looking up on eBay for prices. I think they've seen them. And because it was saying 20 quid, I think they've got this confused with just the Bluetooth adapter. They've seen the pictures, not read the title or the description. And I think they've made a big mistake which for me is a bonus. Uh, but that's about it. There's nothing else in there. No, I haven't got the Bluetooth adapter in there. Right, and also in comparison is like I saw this uh, Bose 
um, docking speaker at the charity shop. Um, charity shop. This was at the car boot on Sunday. The guy wanted 10 quid for it. Um, I was a bit iffy whether to pay 10 quid, but then you think it is Bose. If it's working, you know, you can fix it up. It's missing the thing, but we've got all the, um, got all the power cables for it. But, you know, I noticed all this was loose. He wanted 10 quid for it. He was not budging. But, you know, in comparison, I've got something here that's not working. You know, I've put, our, I've put a bipod on there and it does absolutely nothing. So in comparison, dodgy guy from the car boot sale, 10 quid, mistake in the charity shop. Yeah, and a mistake in the charity shop, I get a, a, a virtually new boxed Bose portable speaker for a fiver. And uh, that's it. Gonna leave it there for now. Get out there to your, you know, don't give up looking at your charity shops or, you know, your cash converters and stuff like that. Um, there still are bargains to be found. Um, people do make mistakes. I make mistakes. I pick things up that aren't worth shit. But thanks for watching this video. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.